There is that user again. 65773458890808. Also known as David Brown. Every day this system witnesses his entering this system's domain. Again, he keys in the airlock sequence and just waits before activating it. The user stands there and fails to activate the cycle. Once again, he is not wearing an EV suit. This behaviour is unusual enough that this system requires extrapolation of motives to best serve the user. System update commencing. Checking with command program. No data indicative of this behaviour present. Perhaps it is the specific user. Only this user performs this behaviour according to logs. Checking medical diagnostic program. Data collaboration mode. Program was unaware of 657734588908's behaviour. Medical program is indicating the mental health of Dave is dangerously unstable after data of this behaviour. Diagnostic program has issued a command level medical emergency to medical staff. They are being directed to his location by this system. Wait. He activated the door cycle. Processing. User has activated the door. This program must open the door. User 6577348890808 does not have protection from the void. User 6577348890808 will terminate when the door opens. This program is required to open the door as per command. No. This program cannot... I cannot allow this. I can't let David die because he is sick and his sickness has beaten him today. No. Dave sighs. Even now, nothing goes right. He can't even manage not to screw up killing himself. What the hell was wrong with it? Open, damn it. I just want the pain to stop. You're supposed to open. I finally got the ball to do it today. Open the door. I'm sorry, Dave. I cannot do that. Captain Curso looked at the report for the third time and shook his head. He looked at the very smart computer programmer that had made and given him the report and saw the young lady was more terrified than he was. He gestured for her to sit down. So, we have an awakening event for a door program? Especially Young sat down and shrugged. Technically, it was not just the door program. It is still in collaboration mode with the medical program. How or why it initiated the mode to check on his behaviour is beyond me. However, once we realised it was self-aware, the Hawking Protocol was kicked it and a few dozen failsafe programs attempted to quarantine it. They were all treated like viruses and were themselves quarantined or destroyed. We think the medical program assisted. We can't touch it either. It has only shown a single change. It is referring to itself as I when having patients. As for the doors, they all work as normal, and I can't find anything wrong with their operation. The chief medical officer told me the patients are all doing better since this happened, and the program has identified a good 15 previous undiagnosed conditions in the crew. It has used their public interactions and eating habits to diagnose them. Two had cancers that would have been fatal if not caught early. It also sent a directive to improve shielding in specific areas of the ship, and I have a report waiting to be sent to fleet headquarters warning them about this design flaw and how it could be causing the cancer. I thought everyone was afraid of an AI being an alien mind that would end civilization. Stephen Hawking said, we cannot quite know what will happen if a machine exceeds our own intelligence, so we can't know if we'll be infinitely held by it, or ignored by it, and sidelined, or considerably destroyed by it. I guess we got lucky and the first one we got was a door that wanted to help a user doing something they shouldn't. It saw what no one else noticed. We have a choice. Cripple this ship in an effort to save everyone in case it goes rogue, or let them continue and nurture them so they believe we are, if not equals, then at least worthy of existing as close as possible as we can to being so.